I'm Dr. Eric, urologic surgeon and men's health expert. Let's talk about chronic pelvic pain syndrome in men. What we're going to discuss is what it is, the diagnosis, and some of the treatment options. Let's get into it. Chronic prostatitis affects around 5 to 10% of men in their lifetime. Of those men, around 90 to 95% will also have chronic pelvic pain syndrome. For this reason, many people use chronic prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome interchangeably. While that's not perfectly accurate, there's enough overlap in diagnosis and management that it probably doesn't make too much of a difference. The exception would be in the relatively small percentage of men who have chronic bacterial prostatitis where antibiotics will be helpful. What's clear here is that the driving force for both of these conditions is an inflammatory process in the pelvis that affects the nerves and muscles of the pelvis and the pelvic floor. Let's start off with the inflammation since that seems to be the root of the issue for many guys. Where did it come from and why is it there? While there's no clear single right answer that applies to all patients, we do understand some of the reasons why this happens. The first possibility is an infection that creates a persistent inflammatory response. For example, a person may have a bladder or a prostate infection that causes a normal immune response to fight off the bacteria. However, for some unclear reason, even after the bacteria is eliminated, the inflammatory action continues to occur. The second possibility is a traumatic event that triggers an inflammatory response as part of the healing process. This could be from a fall or a car accident or some other type of trauma. It could also be from urine backing up through the prostatic ducts. It could be from backup of seminal fluid from not enough ejaculation. All of these issues activate inflammatory cells. Then the inflammation just continues even after the area has been properly healed or because the problem is never properly healed. The third possibility is an autoimmune disorder that causes the inflammatory cells to go haywire and activate in the pelvis and then they don't turn off. What's the consequence of this inflammation gone wrong? Well, the first thing that commonly happens is that the nerve fibers in the area become inflamed and inappropriately activated. This causes pain fibers to fire, resulting in the common pain symptoms coming from various areas of the pelvis and the genitals. The inflammation can also cause pelvic floor muscle spasms. These spasms can result in pain, urinary complaints, as well as a feeling of tightness in the pelvis. What's interesting is that the number of white blood cells in prostate fluid, which is a marker for the severity of inflammation, really doesn't match with the severity of the symptoms. In fact, when men with chronic pelvic pain syndrome undergo prostate biopsy, only about a third will show signs of inflammation in the prostate tissue. This is why we suspect that for many men, it's not an issue that's actually within the prostate itself. There's a strong suspicion that some degree of autoimmunity is responsible for the condition. We don't yet know if that's the case, but it does seem likely. To get a little into the details, Inflammatory cells release many signaling molecules called cytokines. Certain ones stimulate inflammation while others turn inflammation off. It may be that there's an imbalance in these cytokines that creates the issue. Autoimmunity causes the body to favor production of the activating molecules, which can then cause the body to attack some of its own tissues. In some cases, this excessive inflammation can trigger changes in the central nervous system. Abnormal signaling can cause an increase in the sensitivity of the pelvic nerves in charge of pain. 
That means that smaller triggers are needed to cause those fibers to fire. Psychological stress can also be a major factor. This can increase the cytokine release within the body as a stress response. It can also increase the perceived sensation of the pain, making the symptoms feel worse. Of course, worsening pain causes worsening stress, then creating a frustrating feedback cycle. There is some data that suggests that some men with non-bacterial chronic prostatitis may have infection with bacteria that is very difficult to detect. While this explanation is possible in some cases, it's unlikely to explain the majority. Newer studies that utilize gene sequencing and PCR assay technology will help to clear this up. In summary, chronic pelvic pain syndrome and non-bacterial chronic prostatitis are pain syndromes that are driven by excessive and inappropriate inflammation within the pelvis. This causes muscle spasms, pain nerve fiber activation, and urinary obstruction. For information about the treatment of chronic pelvic pain syndrome, check out this video. I hope that this information has been useful. Please click the subscribe button to stay up to date on my health videos and leave any questions in the comments section below.